In this video, we describe program accreditation standards to guide experts in the conduct of a program evaluation process and to foster consistent application of accreditation standards and evaluation criteria. In Georgia, accreditation is obligatory for regulated professions, medicine, law, teacher, preparation, maritime and veterinary, as well as for Georgian language training and doctoral programs. Program accreditation is not compulsory for programs in other fields, but institutions usually prefer to have them accredited to receive state funding through student grants. Existing programs are granted accreditation for seven years, while new programs are accredited for four years. Conditional accreditation is given for not more than two years. There are five accreditation standards according to which higher education programs are evaluated in Georgia. These standards have been primarily informed by the Law of Georgia on Higher Education, Law of Georgia on Education Quality Enhancement and European Standards and Guidelines ESG 2015. This table outlines the way ESG 2015 has been applied by us in developing accreditation standards. Now we will make a general outline of each standard. Standard 1 – Educational Program Objectives learning outcomes and their compliance with the program. The first standard involves two components and assesses the purpose of the educational program, the learning outcomes and the relevance of the program to them. It is expected that program objectives should be clear, realistic and achievable and at the same time they should be in line with the institution's mission, objectives and strategy. Another expectation is that programs should have measurable, achievable and realistic learning outcomes that are consistent with the appropriate level of national qualifications framework. Program learning outcomes should be defined with the participation of all program stakeholders – academic, scientific, invited staff, students, graduates, employers, etc. And in the same manner, all stakeholders should be involved in program design. Experts are also expected to look at a curriculum map which presets logical links between the program objectives and learning outcomes, as well as the program components and learning outcomes. Standard 2 – Teaching Methodology and Organization – Adequate Evaluation of Program Mastering The second standard includes six components. According to this standard, program admission preconditions, program structure and content, program courses, teaching and learning methods and student assessment should ensure the achievement of program objectives and intended learning outcomes. The program development process should be carried out by wide involvement of stakeholders. The program should reflect the relevant level of the national qualification framework and sector benchmarks, if available, the results of labour market research and findings of modern scientific achievements. Experts also assess effectiveness of the program's admission preconditions, the content of each teaching or scientific research component, and program's learning outcomes, as well as relevance of teaching and learning methodology in the program with a particular field. We expect that students' evaluation forms, components and methods are fair, published and known to students in advance. Students should receive feedback on their strengths and weaknesses and get informed to what extent they have achieved learning outcomes. Standard 3 – Student Achievements and Individual Work with them This standard evaluates student-centeredness of the environment for the programme students, whether the students are provided with relevant services, it is expected that program staff ensures students' familiarity with the student support services, organises various events and fosters students' involvement in local and or international projects. We also expect the experts to evaluate the qualifications of the master's or doctoral student supervisors and effectiveness of the document defining rights and obligations of the supervisor, as well as the overall supervision process. Standard 4 – Providing Teaching Resources We expect that the human, material, information and financial resources ensure program sustainability, its effective and efficient functioning and achievement of intended objectives. 
This involves ensuring that program staff consists of qualified people who have necessary competences. The workload of the staff involved in the program and balance between academic and invited should ensure sustainability of the program. Research support and professional development opportunities are to be provided to support staff's development in teaching and learning methods, evaluation methods, program assessment, etc. The standard also deals with material and financial resources available for the program, which should ensure sustainable functioning of the program. Standard 5. Teaching Quality Enhancement Opportunities Here, the expectation is that for enhancing teaching quality, internal and external quality assurance services are utilised, and the program undergoes periodic reviews. For this, relevant data is collected, analysed and utilised for informed decision-making and programme development. Assessments are based on four level scales, which involve full compliance, substantial compliance, partial compliance and non-compliance.